Hello and welcome to DCTP.TV from the Chaos Communication Congress in uh, Hamburg 2013. Uh, some of you might still remember this little tiny device. This is a uh, Tamagotchi. And uh, my next guest, uh, Natalie Silvanovic, uh, hacked those tiny little Tamagotchis. Welcome to the program, Natalie. Thanks. So what actually did you do with those, with this line, tiny little pet? So uh, just remember, uh, the viewers and me. What is a Tamagotchi? Is it the device or the little pet on the display? Yeah, basically it's the device and the pet. Um, the whole device, the thing that will fit on your keychain is called the Tamagotchi, but I guess the thing on the screen is called the character, and the idea is you want to keep your character alive and, you know, feed it and make it happy. And these days Tamagotchis can even achieve things in their lives. Um, they can get jobs and go to school, and basically <laughs> you want to have, like, the best Tamagotchi possible. And how do you do it on a device? I mean, we, we, we can, oh no, this is your hack. We, we show it a little <laughs> bit yeah. later. But what do you do? I see, a, I see a little pet on a very, very low resolution display. Like, what is it? Uh, 50 by 150? Yeah, it's 48 by 31, actually. Okay. Okay, so it's a very low resolution, and you see a l tiny little pet. What, what, how do you feed it? How do you bring it to school? What do you well do? Well, you press the buttons, and there's different icons at the top, and then you know you can select what food it um, eats and that sort of stuff. And there's different games. Um, it's surprising how much functionality there is in the little screen, but yeah, they, they can do all sorts of things just using the three buttons and the icons. And w what happens if you don't feed your Tamagotchi? Well, I guess it dies slash um, the more recent versions have the more, I guess, um, or less frightening, um, it runs away. Uh -huh. But really, we all know it dies. <laughs> and how much time do you have to spend a day to, to, to uh, keep it alive and uh, see it well-being? Uh, not so much these the, these days. Um, actually, I had a Tamagotchi as a kid, and it seemed really hard. But actually, so long as you feed it once a day and maybe play with it once a day, it'll stay alive. Okay, and these uh, devices are still around. You can still buy them, and they're still getting updated? Um, yes, in fact, um, there was a brand new Tamagotchi released on Boxing Day this year. It's not like that one. It uses NFC, the same uh, protocol that's on your phone. But yeah, I'd say every few years they come out with a new English Tamagotchi with different types of features. And you hacked the Tamagotchi. Uh, yes, I did. Um, I hacked that version. Made it do a lot of different things. Um, we can we can we have a video here. We have a demo yeah. because, because we cannot uh, show the display uh, in the live camera. So we we, we show a, a video from YouTube from your video YouTube channel. So what do we see there? Um, basically, this is something special I made for Congress. A Tamagotchi image that shows your Tamagotchi going to the conference. So this is you can see him walking in front of the Congress Center now, and then he's going to go see some assemblies. Okay. So, so, so this is just something I, I did for fun, but it kind of demos some of the functionality. You know, you can make your Tamagotchi display different things on the display. You can make it make different sounds. Um, basically, w what I did on a technical level is I uh, achieved code execution. So basically, you can execute whatever code you want um, on your Tamagotchi. And what else can you do with it? So you can obviously show stuff on the display mm -hmm. that the, the manufacturers didn't plan yeah. to be shown. <laughs> Le let's put it that way. D d can you add additional functionality to the, to, the, to the Tamagotchi? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're constrained by the hardware, obviously, but I guess my next goal is I want to make a television remote control with the Tamagotchi because it has um, infrared on it. Okay, so you push a button and change the program. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and, and how, how did you come to the idea to, 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 to try to play around and hack the, the Tamagotchi? I guess I just always loved them as a child, and I remember um, wondering how they worked internally, and then one day I decided, well, you know, now since I had some hacking skills, I thought, well, I should give it a try and try and figure it out. And what did you find out? I mean, uh, about the logic of the Tamagotchi? Yeah, I guess that was my other goal, other than making it do other things, and basically I dumped the entire ROM, and I figured out, you know, how it works. Um, some fun things I found out was, you know, exactly what determines what your Tamagotchi grows into. So I found out, you know, it's random what toddler you get, but then as a toddler becomes a teenager, some of them are like higher maintenance than others. So some of them you hardly need to care for and some of them you need to care for a lot. Also, I found... But that's that random or how is it determined what kind of toddler you get? Toddlers are random, but then teenagers depend on how well you care for okay. them. 
Also, I found out it doesn't matter who your Tamagotchi marries, and they're just as happy. Also, I found out that there's a way you can potty train your Tamagotchi. How do you do that? Basically, you know, if it needs to use the washroom, it'll start, dan you know, doing the potty dance. And then if you drag it to the toilet every time, it'll eventually start going by itself. <laughs> <laughs> and it's pretty crazy, but it, it totally does work. Okay, okay. These are more or less, what, tweaks, shortcuts, hidden doors, or how y would you say? Y yeah, I'd say so. Actually, that's another... Um, Great thing I found. I, I did find a debug mode, a backdoor on the Tamagotchi, and there's a special code that you can program into an accessory. Actually, if you don't mind, a, a, a figure accessory here. Uh, what I, is this? It's called a figure. It's an accessory for the Tamagotchi. And it's I a strawberry, right? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, well, some of them are strawberries. Yeah. If you want the bumblebee, you can show the uh -huh. bumblebee too. And, and, and these are official accessories I can buy? And what do they do officially with the uh, Officially, they'll give you different games um, or different um, items. Like there's even a travel-themed one where you can take your Tamagotchi on a trip to Washington, D.C., and you can see the statue of Abraham Lincoln. But okay. um, yeah, I, I can reprogram them, and I did that. And one of the things I found is there's a way you can reprogram them that will open up a big cheat mode on your Tamagotchi, and then it lets you change all sorts of stuff you aren't supposed to change. For example? You can make it less hungry just by pressing a button. You can change what character it has on the screen, and normally that's hard. Like, there's, you know, special characters you have to, like, work really hard to get, but using this cheat, you can just get them right away. Ah, okay. And um, did you contact the, the manufacturer? No, I haven't, and I haven't heard a word from them. Okay, but you published everything on, on the yes, web? Yes, I have. Where? I guess I, I have a website, um, natashenka.ca. Oh, okay. And there you find you, how people can do it? Yeah, I, and I posted all the code on GitHub. Huh? I posted all my slides. So basically anyone who wants to try this at home um, can. Okay. And uh, you obviously uh, held a talk here at the Congress. What were the reactions? What were the, 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 the suggestions from, from, the, from the audience? Yeah, I guess I, I haven't um, done my talk this year yet. But ah, but last year. But last year. Uh, um, there were lots of different suggestions. And I d t to be honest, they range from like great idea to like wildly implausible. For example? <laughs> well, some of the really good ones um, was... Uh, Lots of people suggested um, looking at the ROM under a microscope because it's a mask ROM, which means the ones and zeros are actually physically visible. And I actually had quite a few people offer me the use of a microscope. Uh -huh. So th that was very helpful, although unfortunately that <laughs> method didn't quite turn out. Um, so, so that was a really great suggestion. Uh, so some of the more esoteric ones is I know some people suggested doing a differential power analysis, you know, figure out how much uh, power the Tamagotchi draws from the battery and use that to determine the code. But that's something I think, you know, it might be possible, but it would take a very long time. But that was last year. So yeah. you, you found different ways to, to, to reverse engineer uh, the code. Yeah. What, what I ended up doing is I... I showed those figure accessories. I guess I found a vulnerability in how the data from those are processed, and uh. that's what I used to execute the code. How did you get interested in, in, in hacking and, and playing around with computers? I guess I've, I've always loved computers, and actually, um, I guess I got elect an electrical engineering degree in university, and then uh, my uh, day job is I'm a security researcher at BlackBerry. So I guess that, that's really what got me interested in hacking, and this is more of a hobby project um, to use my skills for something uh, totally fun. And what are the plans? Are there any, like, uh, is there a roadmap for Tamagotchi hack? Yes, yeah, so, well, as I said, there's the new version on Boxing Day. So, of course, I had to, um, you know, get it as soon as possible. And my goal is to try and hack it and get code execution on that one as well and to dump the code. Also, um, it has NFC, like a mobile phone, so I'm hoping to maybe one day make a Tamagotchi cheat app so you can tap your Tamagotchi on your phone and cheat at it. How difficult is it? I mean, can everyone with a computer and hack it and uh, download your code, or is there uh, some, some advanced skills that are necessary? I'd say there's, there's different levels, and actually, if you want one more thing yeah. to show, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I made these ahead. boards, um, and that kind of reduces the bar, because you don't need to make your own programmer for the Tamagotchi, and for that, I'd say there's, there's different levels. If you just want to, say, put your picture on the screen of the Tamagotchi, uh -huh. it's really easy. With you, I can do it with this board? Yeah. And how do I do it? There's an... Uh, there's a... what? Is it an Arduino base? Yeah, you know? actually, it will work as an Arduino too, but basically there's um, code on it, and 
you can you, you connect this to your computer and then you just press the figure down and then there's a different tools for the computer that will do different things okay. and then you put this back on your Tamagotchi and, and that's the it. hacks work yeah okay and do you sell this on the on your website I sell it on my website I'm also doing a, a workshop here at Congress where people can buy that and also a Tamagotchi and do their own hacking. Okay, a picture, put a picture on the display is one thing. What, what else can I do easily? Uh, you can make a music video and I wrote a script for that. So I'd say you only like moderate or low level coding knowledge for that. And then the highest level is all assembly programming. So it really depends what you want to do and how much time you want to spend. Great. Did you did you have to overcome any any like password protected areas, security measures or so? Uh, no, there are basically no security measures on a Tamagotchi. Uh, what the real challenge was, what, I guess, two things: the lack of debug outputs made it very difficult. You know, I was getting crashes, but I didn't know why. So you know, I had to do a very large number of trials to figure that out. Um, the other problem is the lack of documentation. So still, um, even though I can execute code on the Tamagotchi. It's, you know, I still don't know what all the ports do, what all the memory locations do. So there are still some microcontroller features I know exist, but I can't use because you know, I don't have enough, enough information to make them useful. Okay, great hack. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you much for your work. Thank you. And people should check out your uh, YouTube channel, of course, yeah. Natalie uh, Slovanovic. Yep. And your website? My website, uh, natashenka.ca, um, N-A-T-A-S-H-E-N-K-A dot C-A. All right. Thank you very much, Natalie. Thanks for coming. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, all you find all the videos in our YouTube channel, obviously, and at dctb.tv. My name is Philip Bande. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Bye.